What's up, everyone? It's time for another Empowered Lesson by yours truly, Empowered Cues. What we're going to be looking at here is kind of the art of understanding cooldowns and matchups and all that good jazz uh, with Jax in the top lane. So I actually uploaded the video of this matchup uh, a couple days ago, um, but there was something specific I kind of wanted to talk about. When you're thinking about good matchups versus bad matchups, it's all cooldown versus cooldown. And that's really about understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each of the champions. So, for example here, we're going to talk about Jax's jump Q versus Quinn's Volt. The reason that this is such a difficult matchup is for pretty much every time you can jump, Quinn can Volt and disengage you. And then you're left standing there like, oh no, what do I do besides running away? Especially if Quinn takes Phase Rush, you can't catch him. And that's what makes it such a difficult matchup. It's the same thing if you think about, like, Pantheon. You jump on him, he disengages with W, and just walks away. So it's about baiting out those cooldowns. So uh, let's watch this for a second, and you'll get a better example of what I'm talking about. So the idea here is I need to bait out Quinn's Vault. If I don't, there's no way I can kill her. The cooldown of Quinn's Vault is 12 seconds, so see it right there. Use the Vault. Now I'm stuck right here because I used my E to try and grab a couple minions, and Quinn can just auto-attack me, and I can do nothing. Uh, your jump is about, what, a 7-8 seconds at the start, and Quinn's is a 12, and it goes down to 8. That's why in ranged matchups like this, you can max Q first, because you're giving yourself better windows to try and get two jumps off, potentially. Uh, the same goes for, like, I think Renekton dashes. If you can bait out his dash or his W, that gives you a window. And Jax's bread and butter is his E. So when your E is on cooldown, that is when you're weakest. So what champions can take advantage of that window the best are going to be your most difficult matchups. So as we're watching this out, see Quinn's level 2. So i got to play a little passively. I take Doran's shield here. Now I'm level 2 and I'm going to get Q here. And like I said, we're, we're waiting for Quinn to vault. If she vaults, she has no way of getting away from us if we still have our Q up. So that's kind of what we're looking for here to bait out cooldowns. You could also think about what's another good example. Uh, your E versus Fiora's uh, repost, her W. That's why that's a pretty even matchup because your E is a 16 second cooldown at the start and hers is a 22. The likelihood that you get multiple reposts off, and I'm sorry, multiple E's off in one big trade against Fiora is very, very unlikely until late game. So you're pretty much trading that cooldown for cooldown. Um, granted, yeah, if you play it a specific way, you might get it a second time, or you can use that difference in window to your advantage, but it's, I said, it's, it's not going to happen very often. So we're going to clear out this wave. So this is another thing to look at here too. Quinn shoves the wave and she's free to roam. So that's kind of what you want to try and do against your opponent as well. So if I had been shoved, I would have been able to make that roam. Quinn shoves. It's going to be unfortunate nature of the matchup. She has Ignite and has range, and I'm Jack, so that makes it very, very difficult for me. So, see, I jump, and all I can do is walk away because she still has her vault. If I walk towards her, she vaults. She's way over here. She can keep auto-attacking me. So we're trying to stay as healthy as we can, so I pop a push, and boom, there's a vault. See what just happened there? Let me just back it up again for a second. So Quinn is going to blow her vault while all of my cooldowns are up. See there? Now I have everything. So her vault is on a 10 second cooldown. I still have my E and my W. I also wait to use my E because she has no way of getting away from me unless she flashes. So I jump up, start procking my E. She can't get away, get the stun. And all I can do, just auto attack her to death. She heals jump dead easy peasy but that's why that's a difficult matchup is she has to screw it up you can never really be the instigator on that one so you you have to bait the mook and if you don't she can always disengage you and there there are other outplay maneuvers but in general that's why that works that way and understanding kind of the battle of cooldowns is how you understand the matchups you know you could also think about you know Jax doesn't have a lot of sustain so if play a poke champion. I go against the AP Malphites all the time, and they can just cue you to death. How can you counter your opponent? If it's an auto-attack based champion, wait to use your E until the end. All those different kinds of things. So, I hope this video has helped you better understand
kind of early game trade mechanics and cooldowns. You notice I put a second point into Q because I'm trying to lower that cooldown window. Don't be afraid to, you know, Google the champion that you're playing against. You could check a couple of their cooldowns. Like I said, go to Renekton and be like, all right, what's Dash's cooldown? What's my jump cooldown? And then you'll know kind of what window you're playing with. And that's why the more you play a specific champion, the more accustomed you get to different cooldowns. So I said, I play Quinn's all the time. I know her cooldowns. I play against Renekton's all the time. Pretty familiar with their cooldowns. I play against Fiora's all the time. I know my windows. Knowing those windows will win you matchups. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. I am Twitch streaming as well, so you can find the information for that in the description. If you want to see more lessons like this, let me know. And good luck on the Rift, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.